Hello and welcome to the Geek Den for issue 212 of the Star Trek Starship Collection from Eagle Moss. We are here and we're going to be having a look now at the Zosa or SS Zosa, um, which is obviously a freighter. So we have um, the ship here. We'll have a little closer that look in a minute. Let's go through the magazine. So uh, obviously we have all the normal stats here. Uh, some nice CGI shots here of the uh, rear of uh, the Zosa. And uh, another CGI shot here of it docked at DS9. And another CGI shot, and then we have these shots from actual episodes. There. Uh, then we get a nice side, top, back and front view of it. And obviously all the little uh, stuff like the landing hatches and stuff like this. Uh, then we have the many... U reuses of the Zosa so before it became the Zosa which is actually here it was all these models before um, I've talked about when they've done stuff like this um, it probably means we won't get any of these different versions of it um, I don't know if anybody would want a different version um, but some bits don't have as much on and some bits have extra bits put on um, but for me, I'm quite happy to have the Zosa. Like I said, I don't know what sort of process they have and the decision that they make. So when they have a ship like this that has been reused, reused a few times, I don't know what Eagle Moss's decision is on which one they will use. I don't know whether it's to, to popularity or easy enough, easy enough to create. Anyway, there he already um, goes into a bit more detail about the different ships and stuff. And here we go into arming Deep Space Nine. So this has a look on how they came up with arming the station for uh, Way of the Warrior, which I think is an awesome episode. Uh, but this starts, does the illustration on how um, DS9 would defend itself and how the phaser banks and photon, photon torpedo launchers would. So this sort of goes into more detail. Uh, then we obviously have the trivia. Uh, then we have the Frankenstein Voyager. That's all I'm going to call it. Anyway, it's issue 122, and we'll be having a look at that here at the Geek Then. Make sure you join us so we can uh, pick this one apart. It's a really funky design. Quite looking forward to it, actually, to be fair. Uh, then we have on the back a very nice top-down view of the Zosa. So, let's open her up and take a look. And there is the SS Zosa out of the packaging um yeah it's it's really nice it's, it is just a freighter but it does have a lot of texture to it uh let's do the shape test i don't think it's uh gonna come off it's quite stable in there it does wobble but i mean i'm shaking it about and it's not it's not immediately coming off so um it, yeah it's just so we take a closer look. Now it is very heavy. Uh, there is a lot of die cast in this. Uh, I would imagine. In fact, I think all the bottom section here. This. Uh, well, I'd say all the bottom section, but also the top. This. I think it's old whole top actually. The whole top, not the bottom. The whole top is die cast. Except this front bit here. So I think the whole of this back section is die cast. It's very heavy. Very heavy. Uh, anyway, let's have a closer look at the Zosa. Once again, it's got some amazing detail on it, but a little bit of... Uh, I'm just going to bring the magazine in and show you. Now, on the magazine here, in the background, you can see this light here. There's also one on the other side that's red. Uh, on the model, that is here and there. Maybe a little bit of green paint and a little bit of red paint wouldn't have gone amiss. It would then match up quite well with the uh, with the magazine. But we get a nice little green patterning just here and then these uh, these hatches here. But as you can see, it's really it's really patterny detailed. It's not going to be too much. It's not a fancy fancy ship. This is just for going to and from and taking your freighter there. Uh, I love I love the front here. It's got a nice sort of. I mean, it wouldn't look out of place in another sci-fi 
um, series other than Star Trek. It's really cool. I do believe it. It did feature in another. The model itself did feature in another sci-fi series. Uh, underneath, yeah, very uh, plain, very bland. Uh, it's got a lot of these smooth surfaces. Yet yeah. on the sides and on the top, it's uh, yeah, it's very textured. Uh, nice little. Uh, I don't know what this is because it doesn't have. It doesn't have any weapons. So I don't know what this section is. Uh, maybe a scanning stuff. Uh, that is a nice touch. But we've not gone around the back. So let's have a look around the back. And that is where the, where the nice touch is. They look like these bits have been actually sprayed. There's no... Let's get a closer look. There's no transfers here. They, this looks like it's been airbrushed almost on the engines here. And that's a really nice touch considering uh, they're sort of orangey like that. And I love that little touch there that they've done to the back there on the engines but what there isn't much more i can say about it it is what it is um if you love deep space nine it's definitely one to get this will set your deep space nine uh very well it would also sit really well next to ds9 if you have that uh model which i do and this will be sitting there uh, along with the bajorans and the collection ships that i have um but yeah it's a really nice model it's the so so i can't really say much more about it it is what it is, and hopefully we'll see you at the next video.